Here is the first of three examples. We're told what the universe is, sets A, B, and C. We draw a Venn diagram. We draw three overlapping circles inside a rectangle, and we label the circles A, B, and C, and the rectangle U for universe. Now, what do they have in common? We see four is in A and B. Scanning, we see six is in A, B, and C. We notice eight is in A and C. And lastly, we notice that five is in common in C and B. So we're going to place these in. Firstly, we're going to start with the very center. The bit that's in all three is number six, element six. Element four is in A and B. Eight is in A and C. Five is in B and C. What's left over in A is two and 10. We have three left over in B, and on its own in C, we have seven. It's in the universe, but not yet included in the circles A, B, and C. We have elements one, nine, 11, and 12. So they go outside the circles. Now let's look at the first question. A intersection, B intersection, C. This is the intersection of all three circles, the very middle of the diagram. And this is the element six. Second question, A intersection C, where the circles A and C intersect, it's colored in yellow here. It has the elements five and six or six and five. The order doesn't matter. Third question, A intersection B, not C. Well, the intersection of A and B, not including the part in the red circle C, it's just the element four. Last question, B not, A intersection, B intersection, C. These are the things in B, except for the things that are in the very intersection of all three, in the very middle. So that leaves us with elements three, four, and five in any order. Okay, example two of three. Again, we have three sets A, B, and C, so we'll represent them with three circles and we'll label these circles A, B, and C. Now we recognize that three is in common in all three sets. So we, five is in A and B. We'll notice that eight, six is in common in A and B, and eight is in common in B and C. So we start putting this information in. Start with the middle always. The three is in all three of them. 5 is between A and B, 6 is between A and C, 8 is in B and C, then left over we have 1 in A, 2 and 7 in B, and 4 in C. This question doesn't really use the universe, but it's okay to have it there. So first question, A intersection B, then intersection C. Well, I'm going to shade in A intersection B. That's shaded in blue. And I'm going to shade in circle C in yellow here. So this question is asking where A intersection B overlaps with this yellow circle. And we see now that's colored in green. That's the element three. Now is that the same as A intersection B, then B intersection C? So let's draw A and let's draw B intersection C in blue here. So the overlap is the intersection of these two which again we see three is what's overlapped, is colored in green there. So it is true that those two things are equal. Okay, the second part of the question, let's look at the value of A not B not C. Well, let me color in A not B in yellow here, and let me color in C in pink. What I'm considering is what is in the first thing that's not in the second thing. So this would be the part that's in pure yellow. This is the element one. And is that the same as A not B not C? Let me color in A first, and let me color in B not C. So it's the parts of B that are not in C. And what we're looking here is the parts of that are colored in yellow that aren't in pink is what we're looking at. So this would be the elements one, three, and six in any order. So we clearly see these two are not the same. These are not equal. Okay, last example. We have three sets again, A, B, and C, so we're going to represent them with the three circles inside a rectangle again. We'll notice that four is in common, 
between A and C. 5 is there between A and B. We see 6 is in all three sets. And we notice that 8 is in B and C. So we're going to carefully put this information into the Venn diagram. Uh, starting with what's in common all three, that's the element 6. And we'll quickly just put in the other parts as we've done before. We'll start with what they have in common. Okay, now let's look at the question. Investigative A, union B intersection C. But I'm going to colour in circle A here first. And then I'm going to shade in B intersection C, the overlap between B and C. Now the union of these two means anything that's shaded in at all. So we see we have 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8 are part of what's there. Okay, is that the same as A union B intersection A intersection C? Okay, so let me draw A union B. That means anything in the surface A or B that's colored in yellow. And let me also shade in A intersection C. This is the overlap between A and C. And this is just, this time we're looking at just the intersection of two of these. And that means what's in common in both of these, and that's what's colored in in green there, which are the numbers four and six. And clearly that's not equal to the first one. So we can see these are not equal, it's not a true statement. Okay, let's look at the second one, is A, intersection B union C. What's the value of this? So let me color in A. And then in another color, I'm going to color in B union C. So I'll do that in blue here. B union C means anything in B or C. And the intersection of these is the overlap. You see it's now after turning into a green color. So it's the intersection of these. So it has 4, 5, and 6 in any order. Okay, and is that the same as A intersection B union A intersection C? So let me color in A intersection B. That's 5 and 6. And I'll shade in A intersection C in yellow here. So the union of these two means anything that's shaded in, anything that's in either region. So again, we see it's 4, 5, and 6. So yes, this time it is true that both of these are equal. 